Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. To the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, wearing long sleeves. It's cold in Portugal, but it's gonna get even more colder because today we are traveling to Spain. This will be a short update video because I don't have time. We will be traveling, and from tomorrow again, we have the normal time zone again because now we are one hour behind of the rest of Europe. And when we go to Spain again, we will be at the same time level as Europe. And I'm working on a new format like the same format, but I'm recording during the day, so I will be able to publish the videos at 7 a.m. in the morning for all the people waking up in Europe again, just like you used when I was in Thailand. Now, let's jump into the charts, because I have four amazing charts. I have a trading tip, I have a travel tip, I'm answering a question. There is huge news about Chainlink that I want to share with you guys, and yes, of course, also give you a live quote. Now, let's quickly check the charts first, what I see today, because yesterday, I warned you, if we dip, we dip to those levels, and that is exactly where we are now and now let's see what the next step for Bitcoin will be. Bam! The first chart for today guys is this four hour chart. I told you yesterday if we will dip we will dip to that level of 68,000 US dollar. We exactly dipped to that level guys and it's just a 9.4 percent dip. If you want to see how that deep we could go you know, that it's like a 20% dip. Let's go, 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 go. 20% dip would be somewhere around, oh, a little bit higher. There, somewhere around 59K. I don't think we will drop below 60K, but there is a possibility that we will touch this volume area there on the bottom around 62K to 64K. But let's see, because the volume at the level that we are now is very big and we can see already these large wicks forming over there, guys. So we see already here, big wicks on the bottom, which means this is being bought up probably when the spot ETF volume will return, these dips are being bought up again. And which spot volumes am I talking about? I am talking about this one, for example, on this table, you can see that yesterday only $132 million worth of spot volume was there. If you compare that to the days before, 600 million, a billion, 500 million, 200 million, 400 million, then 130 million is less volume. Let's see if this continues in the next week, but that would mean that we could even dip lower. Also here we can see that the Bitcoin network flows are also declining a little bit. The light blue, that are the total Bitcoin network flows, and the darker blue, these are the spot ETF flows. So you can see there is still a small part of the total flows, the spot ETF. It is very important to see that when those volumes decrease, that of course the demand for Bitcoin is decreasing, and that could lead to these dips short-term dips and those dips are not for crying those dips are for buying i will keep repeating it interesting chart now we see the bitcoin cycle bottom to the cycle top this is showing you the cycle bottom is completely on the left that's where we started with the white line and you can now see where we are compared to the previous two bull markets the 2017 one and the 2021 one now these bull markets are down below the white line we are outperforming the previous two bull markets today. That doesn't mean we will keep outperforming them, but if we would end up in between those two lines, the blue and the red line, completely on the right, at block 1080, that would mean we would be times 22 times 126. That would be insane, of course, because we have seen diminishing returns each and every cycle. If this cycle continues like it is doing now, that would not be a diminishing return. If it would be a diminishing return, and we would only reach 10x, for example, from the cycle bottom 16k times 10, is 160k top. Amazing charts, Bitcoin is outperforming your previous cycles, Bitcoin is doing exactly what it needs to do. It's creating adoption among everyone in the world. Retail investors, institutional investors, banks, governments and countries. If you look now to Bitcoin four years of return on investment from the COVID crash, then the Bitcoin four year return on investment is 1308% since that COVID crash. That COVID crash that we fell on the 14th of March 2020 to 5K, we are now at 73K. That's 1,308% return on investment if you would have bought that COVID dip. 
instead of listening to the governments and listening to all these influencers that were telling you Bitcoin could crash to zero, you should have bought that dip and you will be up now with 1,308%. A very important indicator you need to keep an eye on is the MVRV score. We are now around the level of three. Historically, when we went above the level of four, that is when the bull market top is near. Just look at the charts. Look to the price on the top part of the chart, the blue line and the red line, the top of 2017, the top of 2021. That is when that blue line touched that level four. When that red line touched that level four. We are at level three, so all the retraces that we see, all these dips that you could buy, are part of a bull run. We will always see this happening during a bull run. There is not one way directly up. We will move up, we will move down, and that is how we pick up new volume to go even higher in the next push. Don't be shaken out, don't have weekends, be strong, buy the dip. Hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. And yes, short-term volatility always in this market. And why? Because there was way too high open interest. I already made a video about that last week. I told you guys, open interest is as high as it was at the 2021 bull market. When it gets too high, there needs to be a correction. I made a video about that. Also, we can see the spot ETFs accumulating less volume. Only 132 million Bitcoins instead of the 600 to 800 million dollar worth of volume normally. So decline in ETF volume, open interest too high, too many longs in profit, so there need to be liquidations for the exchanges to be in profit, bam, you have a 10 to 15% dip. And we will experience more of these dips, but those dips are not for crying, those dips are for buying. Yes, <laughs> singing it, maybe that cheers you up in the morning, you should buy this dip. That is what you should do, guys. You should zoom out. Look at those other charts. We are just getting started. We are just nearing the halving. After the halving, in history, we have never gone down. We have always gone up. So don't cry, but buy this dip. Next part. The trading tip for today, again, watch those volumes. I told you many times, the dips will come when the spot ETF volumes will be declining. And they are declining a little bit, so that's why there is a dip. Look at the volume of the liquidation levels. Is there high volumes being liquidated at certain levels? These levels will be visited. Look at the volumes of the open interest. If the open interest is too high, there needs to be a correction. Simple as that. Always look at the volumes. That was the trading tip for today. Now that we're packing again to go on ski holiday, guys, the travel tip for the day is roll up your clothes. Don't fold them, roll them. When you roll your clothes, you save a lot of space in your suitcase. You will get more volume, again volume, into your suitcase when you roll them. Yes, today is everything about the volume. So yes, roll your clothes, travel tip for today, saves you volume, and it's really more easy than folding, because as I am a 45 year old, I'm still not able to fold my clothes in a neat way. So I will just roll them, roll them. Yeah, it saves place and it's more easy for men. Now, that was a travel tip for today, short but simple. Answering a question from one of the followers, the question was, Didi, how do you expect us to go break out of this hamster wheel, like you said yesterday? How do you think we will do that? You're like, just sell the house or just live off the savings for a couple of months and then we're done. Of course, I do understand your pain. I do understand what you're saying, but I also know it always starts with step one, taking the step. And you can always do it step by step. You don't need to do it directly. But if you have the plan to break out the hamster wheel in another like two or three years time, start to accumulate as much as possible Bitcoin during those three years so that your capital will start working for you instead of you working for your capital. I know that not everyone can do it directly today. If you have overvalue in your house, yes, then my plan is sell that house, sell that real estate because you don't own it. The overvalue will be taxed very soon before you know it. So take that overvalue now, invest it in Bitcoin and let that capital work for you. You will feel this freedom feeling before you know it if you hold your core capital in Bitcoin. The longer you will hold it on bank accounts, the less purchasing power you will have, the less possibilities you will have to break out of the hamster wheel. 
the first step of breaking out of the Hamster deal is to realize that your capital should not be on a bank account in euros because that will kill all your dreams for the future. That's step one. And from then, we take it step by step. All the savings, all the materialistic stuff that you don't use, sell it, buy Bitcoin, keep accumulating Bitcoin. And there will be a moment in your life, two years, three years, maybe four years, maybe the next bull market top in 2029, that you will feel the freedom because you don't have the financial pressure anymore because you were smart enough to buy Bitcoin instead of staying with your savings on a bank account. Step by step, don't overrush it, but start today. Start with accepting that Bitcoin is the real money. Fiat currencies are the shit coins that are being printed out of thin air and will create inflation, which will lead into less purchasing power every year and again and again and again for you, which will lead to less savings for you, which will lead to always the pressure of keep working, working, working and running at Hamsterville. This one, you break out of the Hamsterville. Bitcoin. The news for today, guys, is about Chainlink. I've been telling you to buy Chainlink already for years. Now, Chainlink CCIP protocol has surged 180% over the last two months. The CCIP protocol is very important for traditional databases to be connected to the blockchain and for blockchains to be interoperable and connecting with each other. This is a very important step that we need in the blockchain industry and Chainlink was the first to create it and as a step ahead of all, the under, of all the other competitors that are trying to create the same. Please understand the importance of Chainlink. It's still around $20. I believe that the Chainlink top would be around $100. That's times five. So you can still, in the next 12 months to 18 months, times five your capital if you understand what Chainlink is building out there, or already has built, because the usage and the volume of users is increasing tremendously of the CCIP protocol, guys. Please, don't skip this news. You can read all about it in Cointelegraph. Search for the article, Chainlink, read it, understand exactly what Chainlink is doing for you, and then start to invest as well in Chainlink. I think it's one of the best altcoins out there to be invested in during this bull market. Please take five minutes today to read that article and understand exactly how Chainlink is supporting all these blockchains, but also the traditional data being connected into the blockchain. Very important thing. So please read that news. The last part of the video, guys, is the inspirational quote. And today I'm going to tell you one very important lesson. There is five things that are very important to live a successful life. Never stop dreaming, never stop believing, never give up, never stop trying, and never stop learning. And learning, for example, is something that you do if you watch my videos every day. You will learn about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And I want you to share this message with all your friends out there so that they can also start learning about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And maybe we will reach 75k before Bitcoin does. We want to reach 75k subscribers to our YouTube channel before Bitcoin reaches 75k US dollar. This dip is making it a fair competition again. We are equal 69k YouTube followers, 69k Bitcoin. Let's take it to 75k before that Bitcoin does, guys. But it's very important in life to understand you must really never stop dreaming. All the dreams that you dreamt of when you were a little kid, keep dreaming them, manifest them, visualize them, go for your dreams, grab life by the balls or by the boobs, whatever you call it, but never stop dreaming, never stop trying. I know maybe you have failed a few times, don't stop trying, never give up, always continue the thing that you're going for, don't give up. Giving up will lead into failure keep trying will lead into evolving as a human being to become stronger and to fulfill all those dreams and goals that you want to reach. And one of the most important things, never stop believing. We never stopped believing in Bitcoin. And that is why on the 5th of April now, a documentary series will be going live on one of the biggest streaming platforms of the world. 
You will read it all over the newspapers this coming week because there's a lot of publications coming out showing the documentary name, showing what we are going to do and showing that we never stopped believing. We believed in ourselves and all the strengths. We believed in Bitcoin and all those strengths and we believed that the freedom lifestyle would be possible as a family with three dollars and a little beautiful dog. I don't say gay dog anymore. My kids and wife don't like it, but it's a little gay dog. So never stop believing in yourself, in the dreams, never give up all of the things. These five life lessons are the most important ones. And I'm not talking too loud because everyone here is still sleeping. It's really early. We are leaving here at 8 a.m. I think it's at 6 a.m. when I'm recording this video. But that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? What do you think about the life lesson? Let me know down below and please share it with one friend today. 75K before Bitcoin does. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again from the snow on a beautiful hill in Sierra Nevada, Spain.